Mole Baba Ki Jai. My name is Santosh, my uh, given name Sandro. And uh, how did I come to know or meet Babaji? It's a long story, but uh, it's a story that I uh, I'm happy to tell, and I love to tell. But uh, it begins. Uh, it begins really at my birth because I've been f a spiritual seeker since I was born. But after many, many years of work and business ownership in Alaska, I uh, I got to um, a point where I was really searching for something. And one of the things I did is read a lot, and I read Steve Jobs' book, uh, the founder of Apple. And in his biography, he talks about a book which he read at least once a year, sometimes more, and that intrigued me. And the book was the autobiography of a yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. And so I decided after reading Steve Jobs' biography that I should maybe take a look at a book that he would read several times a year for almost his whole life. And I did. And in that book, uh, which I've now read many times, but beginning, I, I saw references to a Babaji, which I'd never heard of, didn't know anything about. And I th thought about it and I, I did a little bit of reading and Babaji this, Babaji that, I, but I didn't really know Babaji. And I went to, uh, to Thailand uh, and I went to a wellness center because I was so stressed out with work that, that I needed to take a time out. And I, uh, I went to uh, Kamalaya, a resort in Thailand, where I, in the mornings early, four, five, six o'clock, I would hear music. And I followed the music, and I, uh, I decided to uh, go up to, the, where I, to follow the music, and it ended up at a temple. And, uh, and in that temple, there was singing, and it happened to be they were doing the arti. I didn't know what it was, but it attracted me. And I went for several days, and then they said they were going to have a fire ceremony. And so I went to the Havan uh, and participated in the offering, and I didn't really know what it was. And after the Havan, a gentleman who had lived with Babaji for many years, Kaku, told me, you know, he asked me if I knew what this was, and I said, honestly, no, I don't. And he explained that this was a temple for Shiva in Babaji's form. And when he said the word Babaji, which I'd been reading and thinking a lot about, I felt a tremendous uh, wind force walk through my body, and he saw it as well. And I almost fell over backwards when he said, this is a, a, a temple dedicated to, to Babaji and, and uh, his following. And at that point I realized, and he realized too, that there was a strong connection with Babaji in, in my life. And so I get to know them more and I go back every year to Thailand and I visit with them and talk to them about Babaji. And one year he says, this is maybe in 2015, I think, he says, you must come with me to Herakan, to Babaji's home. And I came uh, to Herakan at that point uh, in 2015, I believe. And, uh, and uh, the rest is history. I, I was completely absorbed and... Uh, I have gotten to know Babaji and have had many wonderful, wonderful encounters and feel him in my presence f frequently. And I'm very, very grateful to, uh, you know, the process that has led me here to be with Babaji. And now I come, try to come every year. Of course, COVID slowed me down, but I've been coming every year to Herakan in the spring and to Chilianola in the fall for the Navratri festivals. Otherwise, I have a life in Alaska that I pursue and uh, and love. And I see Babaji everywhere in Alaska as well. Is uh, I think that's his second home. Even Paramahansa Yogananda went to Alaska and talked about Alaska in his biography. So it was beautiful. I love the story, I love the feeling, and I'm happy to continue to grow with Babaji. Bole Babaki Jai.